Emily uh, Stewart, of course, on stage for the next presentation. We have uh, now the, even if, if we had a scan point paper before, but this is the Royal Mint paper, uh, which, you, uh, which you have prepared for us, and we're looking forward to that one. Uh, the stage is for yours. Thank you, Dieter. My Dominic and Helen, ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure to be here today. Uh, so, introducing an effective coin system. Now, as we know, the market in which we all operate in is um, dictated by cost. Or is it really just dictated by price? For the cash cycle, it's not really just about the coin or blank. It's about cost efficiency throughout that cycle. And what, that is what will drive the future as we progress. The physical cash industry needs to start adapting and changing um, to, to match the market in which we operate. If we don't invest time and effort in new technology to drive innovation, then physical cash will diminish. Uh, that will diminish very quickly as cashless innovation takes over. So, We've undertaken um, a, a, re a market research and found that there is no real one-size-fits-all. Just as we, all sat in this room, have uh, unique fingerprints, so the markets in which we operate have very different requirements, whether they be socio-economic or demographic, then they have very, very different requirements. So market research has, has given us the following uh, indications or requirements of, of security and of uh, currency systems. So that market research uh, concluded that both banks and striking mints have the same basic needs. However, the importance of those needs varies. So how can we as manufacturers produce products that deliver efficiency in the currency system? Whether, whether we supply paper or notes or blanks or coins, we're only part of the jigsaw. It's important to consider the wider cash cycle implications in terms of uh, currency issue, cycling, validation uh, and recycling and build on those through fe uh, future technology innovation. Basically, for the customer, cash systems must become cost-effective. So, here we see some general requirements uh, of coins across the currency range. Firstly, coins uh, of, a, of a low face value uh, or change only uh, are predicated by low lifetime requirements uh, and don't really require much in terms of innovation. It's all about cost, it's all about providing scenery. As we move to the, the next layer, uh, coins require basic overt and covert security features, plus need to be of a higher quality, whilst maintaining cost effectiveness and positive senior aspects of the, of the first layer. This fits for uh, low or change denominations in stable economies or mid economy uh, or for uh, mid denominations in economies where economic pressures dictate that low lifetime is acceptable. The requirements of this second level are built upon throughout the next layer in terms of the requirements for more robust overt and covert security, durability in terms of long lifetime, typically in excess of 20 to 25 years, and high quality. This layer is currently serviced by uh, advanced plated products uh, at the mid end and homogeneous and clad coins at the high end of its range. The final layer is the one of real interest. This is where the real need for security 
on top of durability, quality and cost effectiveness comes into play. Coins are currently disadvantaged at, uh, as, at this level as security has been limited to that just of EMS and banknotes possess advanced uh, security features which overcome their issue of low durability. So this is where the challenge for uh, coins comes in. So can advanced level 2, B, C or level 3 forensic security really be brought to coinage and still maintain the rest of the market requirements? So after deploying an extensive research and development program and uh, implementing uh, a, a world-class stage gate process based from uh, market and industry engagement, the Royal Mint, Royal Mint now brings uh, the ISIS currency system to the market. So ISIS is a significant development in terms of coin design. So not since steel plating in the 1970s or bicolour uh, coins some years later has there been so much innovation in the coin world. Now, for the first time, central banks uh, can have the cost benefits of plated steel in their high denomination coins and low to mid value banknotes without compromise of security. So, let me show you some details. So, if we just applied a simple incorporation of an authentication uh, feature via, uh, on top of a metal substrate, via a lacquer or a paint, that would have a distinct disadvantage in the field, as there would be a significant field loss due to the durability issues, as coins would wear over time. This is due to the inherent wear characteristics that we've just heard in the previous presentation, and that's been ratified by uh, some independent testing that we've uh, taken out with the Fraunhofer Institute that surmised that all plated coins will wear in normal circulation conditions at circa one micron per year. So ISIS has been developed to be incorporated as part of the plating process, leading to a uniform distribution of the security feature, which will lead to long life durability in the field, and that's a significant advantage. So as you can see here in this mock-up, the ISIS feature is clearly visible throughout a 25 micron full plate. So seeing it in real life, now this is a, an, an SEM section uh, at 3,000 times magnification. So first of all we'll see this area here is the steel substrate and above it is the nickel plate. So the area is now circled in blue, they're just some of the particles incorporated during the plating process. So that uniform distribution throughout the, the full plated layer, that gives the, the signal consistency and the integrity for the lifetime of the coin in the field. So as, we heard, as we've heard with EMS, there is a wide window, we've seen the, uh, the results. This is much more that simple yes, no. So there is no is it or isn't it within the window, it's a, it is a definitive yes or no. As I said, it's not a lacquer, it's not a surface coating, it's right the way throughout the life of the product. So, robustness of the plating process in terms of tolerances and repeatability, that's key to ensuring that the security feature is incorporated in a uniform manner throughout the, the fully plated layer. And those embedded uh, particles are, opti are optically active, and that's fundamental to the feature recognition in the field. So, to show you how that operates, any covert security feature is only as good as its detection capability. With ISIS, the detection systems are designed to be cost effective, accessible, flexible, and operate to industry-leading standards and speeds, now and for the future. So, if we shine uh, an illumination source uh, at the emission at the coin, 
uh, as it passes the sensor. The coin will then uh, emit an energy pulse in response to that uh, back to the optical detector. That will then be analysed by the signal processor and give a definitive yes-no response. And that's what checks for the authenticity of the coins. That's applicable whether it be at vending, gaming, retail, or uh, and high-speed applications at cash centres. And this we've had uh, operational at uh, up to 10 metres per second. So there's a huge uh, future-proofing uh, possibility there. So how does this compare? Well, here we can see that as a result of the groundbreaking technology that we, uh, we have uh, incorporated, it gives significant cost benefits against traditional homogenous and clad coins, which as we all know are becoming more and more expensive. But at the same time, it offers significant increases in security, so it's taking security level to that of banknotes. Therefore, we're able to replace the clad and the homogenous coins with much more cost-effective, but still as durable plated coins. But you're also able to, to uh, replace low to mid-value banknotes, leverage in the same security, but then significantly leverage in the durability and, and incorporating then lifetime savings into your currency systems. So, are we talking about uh, evolution or revolution here? Well, as we say, ISIS can fit at the covert and the forensic levels. But the underlying technology is not brand new. It's been around for 30 plus years and is available in many, many applications around the world. What we have uh, managed to do is undertake a technology transfer and our innovation through the plating process in terms of its robustness is something that drives the use of, the, of this renowned technology. So in summary, the process brings greater security at lower cost, can significantly increase seniorage, gives affordability not just over clad or homogenous coins but also against uh, low to mid value banknotes, and gives currency credibility. So the system is a very simple yes no, also gives a forensic level uh, at central bank and is very cost effective. Thank you for listening. Hopefully that was in time. And I think we'll field some questions then, Peter. Yeah. Thank you, sir.